Hello and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion. It's been a while since last time we were in Oblivion, but I've been able to get my PlayStation 3 back from my parents, who had borrowed it for a visit from my sister and her boyfriend. So, last time, which was the 26th of March this year, um, Let's see, that would be under quest, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, so we finished up seeking your roots. Yeah, so we, we basically uh, started the quest the quest for, for the learned roots here in, uh, in Tamriel and in, in, in Cyrodiil. Um, let's see, join the Magic Guild. Oh yes, that we are headed towards all the cities in Cyrodiil in order to become a fully fledged mage. For that to happen, we need recommendations for all the guild halls, which means that we need to do us a minor task at each guild hall. We're currently headed towards the guild hall in Anvil, the far western port city of the Cyrodelic Empire. Moving along the Street River and past Quatch, which we have no interest in entering. Right. Um, so I might be a little rusty because it's the first time in almost half a year that I play uh, on my PlayStation 3. It's almost the first time in half a year that I play Oblivion, once again. Uh, there's also another thing. So, uh, back then I had the issue that my controller could not use the left analog stick to go directly left. Any other, op any other directions, as you can see, is fine. Um, the reason for that, I think, is the game. Uh, the game being old, mostly. Because I have tried with other controllers and I have tried with other games on the PlayStation 3 and there's no issues there. It is just this game. So, we should not be using a fist. A bow? Ah, sure, why not? Right, so towards Anvil it is. Now, these locations are all of some we have visited. There is a chance, however, that because of how long it is since we've been here in game, that they have been repopulated, which means that there are enemies to kill, of course. So what are we here? A camp near an alien ruin. Oh, I see some person walking away. Huh? Now I don't know if. Hello. She was not friendly. Well, you can eat fire. Uh, ooh, two lockpicks. Nice. Oh dear. Uh, that reminds me. We have to get... What? Oh, there were more than one bandit. And a melee one of that. Hello. Not two ways. Even wearing poison one. Um, Rasava's camp. So we are used to the nice and relatively easy lockpicking system of Skyrim. We're used to the a bit more challenging but not frustrating lockpicking system of um, the Elder Scrolls Online. And now we get to the worst. Okay, come on. Woo! Uh, none of that is really worth enough for me to want to take it. Right, moving on. Probably be some more bandits along the way, but we can deal with that when we get to it. Ooh, that's a troll. Good thing we have a fire spell. Stop. Or we could just, you know, sneak attack it. Trolls in this one are more nasty than trolls in Skyrim. I think I've only seen a single troll in, in uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, and that was bad enough. Took a while to kill. I suppose I was using my healing staff to avoid getting killed myself. Oh, is this an alien well, or is this... No, just an abandoned gateway. That's fine, that's fine. If not for the discovery, where would we be? 
All right, so there are trolls nearby. Not particularly pleasant. Actually, if you see, think about it. We are we are very close to Valenwood. It's actually right over there. As the river runs in the bottom of that valley, marks the border between Cyrodiil and Valenwood. So, chances are there are Bosmers in this area as well. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. Let's see. So this is the burnt out remains of Quatch. That could actually be interesting to go to Cyrodiil. No, because that would be earlier. Hmm. Oh, there's a boar. All right. Can I zoom in? Oh, oh, yeah, I can. Forgot how janky this is. Oh, did not hit. All right. Uh, oh. What? Okay. Pop then. Yeah, there we go. That works. I believe our stealth level is pretty high. There's a skit marker for some other dimension here. Alright. And the carry weight is good. We have 59 out of 90. I am sneaking because, well, if there are trolls nearby, obviously I can hear them when they screech, but I would rather discover them before they discover me. Okay, what is... Oh, hello, an Imperial soldier. Better put my weapon away. No need what to. There's evil afoot, citizen, and I've little time for chatter. What is it? I uh, heard any rumors... The Emperor is... Uh, heard any rumors that I haven't heard before. Ah, uh, shoot you and stuff. Well, he's off. Ooh. Oh, why did you? Mm. Well, you should have warmed up more. I'll take those. I think we're using steel arrows. Did it? Oh, there he is. Gotcha. What did he get? Boar. Ah, oh, that seems. Incidental. Mortal cam. Hmm. Well, yes, they were very mortal. They died. Alright, search the sacks. There might be... Silver urn. That could be... of some value. We're also on the lookout for some specialized wine. Wine that's mostly only found in deep within imp old imperial force. Now there's none of those around, so I'm not particularly worried. Oh. Grab that back. I believe once we head to Anvil, we will also be able to trigger the Knights of Nine DLC. Which is, of course, the secondary DLC uh, to the Shivering Isles. What? Oh, this is just a deer. I was like, what the f... What was going on there? But it was just a deer, so... No need to worry there. Unless I hear the deer calling out its death cry. Which it might. Still got the burnt trees up on the hill. But they have no interest to me. Alright. 
this area shouldn't have many monsters because it's right by a, a small camp namely the camp of where the survivors of uh, Quatsch are holed up and will be for the rest of the game unfortunately so this is the Gold Coast the lesser known area of well less lesser this important area of Cyrodiil. Right. And the road that leads us. So we are now all, we are now almost past Quatch, which means that this area for me and for this game is undiscovered. There's plenty of opportunity to find caves or fortresses. And loot them, and hopefully not die. That's uh. What? What is that? Oh, that's a puma. No. Or a mountain lion. Whoa. I did think it was too big for a fox, and it was. Whew. Oh, there's an oblivion gate nearby. Hmm. Perhaps I can save that for another episode. Is there anything... Actually, isn't there a good lookout spot here? No, oh, it's... Oh, there's a camp down there. You can see it on the hard. Uh, yeah, that could be worth a try. Might be bandits. Might be nothing. Might be an NPC that's actually holed out out here in the middle of nothing. There's also a cave nearby. I think I'll save the Oblivion Gate for next time. Alright. So, is this camp friendly? Well, I have spells and plenty of arrows in case it's not. Let's see. Ooh, your athletic skill increased. Why walk when you can run has always been your motto. Now the miles of running and the hours of swimming have paid off. You're a journeyman of athletics. Your rate of fatigue regeneration when running is increased by 50%. Cool. And that brought me to level 8, 11. And fairly close to the next level. Alright. Troll Candle Camp. I see... What looks like a bandit archer, but, well, she obviously sees me, and she isn't attacking, so she is likely an NPC. Hello. She's named. That's a good stuff. Lead Alan. me to my work, stranger. Uh, okay, but have you heard any the rumors? The Colovian highlands are barren wastelands along the border with Hammerfell. Okay, cool. Have you heard any useful rumors? Right. Okay, there's a cave nearby, so let's... Head to that and see if there aren't goblins that needs. Oh, it's also a small settlement nearby. Let's see, what do we have? Anything on the outside that could indicate what is on the inside? Hmm, I see tombs, which means that it's probably necromancers. Smoke Hole Cave. What in the... Oh. There's an imp over there. Maybe a bit up. Oh! <laughs> now that was an excellent shot. Alright. There's a lot of tombstones here. But, when there's an imp around, that might mean it's more of a nature cave. Where did you go, you... Oh, what? Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, timber wolf. Not anymore. The tall grass makes it nearly impossible to see. If one could lay themselves down, that could provide decent... To actually excellent cover. Perfect for ambush. Though not in this weather. You'd get pneumonia. 
Yeah, we got skeletons. Question is... There's some there. Better get into the dry. Wood dogs who sm fill your soul gem by soul trapping creatures. You can also soul trap a creature you've summoned. Hmm. Okily dokily. It's not so dark, so. There's fire, so there's not likely not undead. Do I hear ghosts or do I just hear skeletons? If I hear ghosts, then I need to switch up to my silver arrows so that I can actually hurt the ghosts. My firebolt is powerful, but it is very has a very slow recharging rate. Okay. We could switch on. I believe this is night vision. To see if... Okay, what do we got going on? So we got... Mud crab and a rat. Wow. What? Really? How? Is the crab coming for me? Oh no. Oh, I'm so scared. Hello, mud crab. Time to die because you are not snappy. I also forgot that you cannot cancel an arrow in this game. Okay, I think I saw something move over there. Up! Oh, that's a zombie, isn't it? Something is still coming for me. Mm, I think what I saw was just a smoke from that fire. Well, if there's zombies, that is definitely undead. There could also be skulls, be, be ghosts, not spokes. Uh, it's more likely that there are skeletons, though. Ah, got my recording cocoa. Might grab coffee later, but okay. This is actually pretty useful, even though it's very, very bright. But this cave is not too dark, not too bright in its own lighting. All right, we got lots of ways to go here. Chances are, these tunnels lead down to the way below, and the actual support is up there. You lost your head, mate. Alright. We do actually have a map of this place, though. Right here. Okay. So these definitely lead down. Mm. So a steel arrow can take out a zombie if there is surprise attack. The extra bonus from stealth, that is. Ah, they combine, and I assume lead. That looks like stone work rather than just cut out. Okay, let's be on the listen here. This seems to lead down any f even further. Hmm. Yes, that leads over to the left side. Not sure where that goes. I think we should clear out this one first. I think that's just to the. Uh, oh, there's ghosts. There's ghosts. God damn it! I was hoping to avoid that. Well, uh, we have a means of defeating the ghost. Wow! And that was down here. Ah, so that was what was making a lot of fuss. Problem is, we don't get silver arrows back from shooting ghosts in the head. Kind of silly. I mean, just because they die doesn't mean the arrow dies. At least not in my opinion. Oh well, 
Now where did that mud crab go? Was it down? Oh yes, I actually wandered past it. Getting my steel arrows back, that's nice, but if ghosts keep coming at me, then I will be forced to use magic. Not that it's a problem, but I prefer to... Hmm. Headless zombies are the weakest of the undead. Skeletons in Oblivion, unlike Skyrim, are very dangerous. That's because these skeletons can develop into more powerful creatures. Which means that they can level, essentially. Right, let's put this back on. And see what is down here. So that's a rat. That's not a problem. Now if I can scope him out without... Is there... The question is... Oh, oh, there's two rats. Unpleasant, but again... Right, that should do it. Okay, there's a chest there. There's a sarcophagus there of some sort. A coffin. Ooh, hello! So coffins in Oblivion are a small treasure hall almost every time. Unlike Skyrim, where coffins are always empty. Oh! Really? Are you going to throw that at me? Ah, come on. Shh. Well, that was bad. It was four lockpicks wasted. Okay, skeleton. Oh. Bone meal. What? Smoke hole boot tomb. Well, that's definitely undead. Wearing armor you're not skilled in will reduce its effectiveness. Alrighty. I think the up part will wait, but it may perhaps just be a single necromancer. Not that that's not a problem. Hmm. But still. So the tomb bit is down here. Can we be expecting... Wow, wait, what? Oh, I wasted silver arrows on, this, on the rats. Oh, that is terrible. Oh, I actually don't need the... Okay, I hear creaking, typically the sound of skeletons, which are fairly easy to take down as long as you get the jump on them. Ooh, an average lock chest. Oh, I'm a dummy, I could just have used my spell for, oh, for crying out loud, I could just have used this. Well, this won't affect this one, of course, but, uh, okay, what do we got? I'm, if I don't see any ghosts down there... Yeah, it's just skeletons. Right. Well, then we shall switch back to steel arrows. Well, wrong button. Good thing that no one was affected. Hello? And you? Hello? Are you coming up? No, because you can't climb a vertical slope. Even if you wanted to. And I'm gone. Just have to wait for them to settle down. There we go. They are no longer alarmed. Alright, let's try this one out. Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, come on. Oh, come on! There we go. Well, hmm. Lockpicks are not as easy to come by as this. You know you're down, I know you're down there, and I know you want to take a bite off of my face, but I'm not going to let you. Wop! There's another skeleton wandering around down there. 
I'm not entirely sure where, but is there even a way down? Does not look like it actually. Oh, there you are. Hello. It seems clear for now. Might not be, but. Well, here goes nothing. Did I just take damage from that? Oh, there was one more. Good thing we discovered that before things got ugly. Steel maze, steel shield. Oh yes, these are skeleton guardians. Definitely tougher than regular old skeletons, but still definitely not the brightest. And lucky for that. All right. Nope. Could there be? I don't want the steel maze, definitely not. Is this locked? No! Elden Claymore. That is cool, but at the moment I cannot carry it. And I have a better alternative, so... Sorry, bud. No go over you. I killed some archers, didn't I? And you have extra silver arrows. Wonderful. That is actually really nice, because silver arrows are the base of any ghost extermination. Alright, let's take a look at the map, see where we're going. Ooh, there is a lot to this place. And I don't know if I know half of it. Alright, well... Oh, I've been here. So the only way out is through that door. Okay. Shall go this way, after I've had some more cocoa. Ah. Chocolate milk is probably more correct. Technically. Alright. <clears throat> Ooh, that's semi-dark. And now it's blue. Stop and listen, turn around, back to the wall, and... Uh, okay, anything down that hallway? Not at the moment. Eh, not useful. I don't do potions in this. Okay. I hear a rat. Well, we have the right arrows, which means not silver arrows. Oh, there you are. Hello. All right. Lots of coffins, and it keeps going down this place. Not sure I'm fond of that development, but well. It's not like I can change the room. Got spider webs. What do we got down there? That looks important somehow. Hmm. Is there a safe way down? It looks like if you enter through a tunnel, yes. And obviously we can't go back because that drop was way too steep to get back onto. This could be a perfect place for pressure plate. This could be a perfect place for pressure plates. That's, that's difficult to say three times fast. I won't try it. We got more rats. Two of them. Get off of my face. Seriously.
Anything? Nope. Ah, oh, you never know. Okay. What is going on here? Another unlock chest. Jade Rue Ring. I'll take that. The weight to value ratio is good. And that is what I'm going for when looting. I will also... Take that. And take that back. Alright. So coffins with the lid off has nothing in them. Which I'm kind of thankful for. I mean, they should potentially have corpses in some state of decay or not, but, well, more rats. Or perhaps ghosts. Dwarven shield. I think I have one of those. I will not be needing another. Oops, wrong spell. As I said, it. Uh, I'm a bit rusty when it comes to oblivion, but you hear that moaning? That's the sound of a ghost. So, I think my fireball may be powerful enough to take them down, but that requires me to hit. And if I miss, I need some backup weapon. Now, I could use either snowball because it's a magical weapon, or letter opener because it's a silver weapon. It's also a magical weapon, but that's beside the point. Why do I keep picking up dwarven arrows? I don't need them. They weigh too much for their... Okay. I... I don't like the sound of that ghost. Uh, okay. That route is really creepy looking. Ah, yes, and there's the ghost. Oops, there's more of them. Shite! Whoa, it was not enough. Well, managed to take one down. Mostly using the arrow, but that's fine. I don't think they... Oh, yours. Did you give up seeking... No, you didn't. But you're still an idiot. Ooh, your sneak still increased. You should rest and meditate on what... Is that guy alive? Well, not anymore. That works. So, we even got a level up in the first episode when we returned to this leather shield. Haha, <laughs> no. Alright. So, what else have we got? Um, bones here. Bring a little bag of bones. Another chest unlocked. Mithril helmet. Oh, hang on a minute. 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 And what do we got? What do we got? We're actually using a heavy. Oh yeah, because it's enchanted. Ah, resist magic is nice. We have to find a way up. I'll be totally down about that. Wah wah. Hmm, a door. And stonework. It's concerning. Ooh, and it leads up, and it lead, leads up for a change. We should change back our arrows. Chances are the ghosts are mostly done with, but you can always listen out for them. Oh no! The good thing about every creature in Oblivion having a, their own sound. Well, we have to go that way. Okay. Okay. Just in case. That's not a magical weapon. Uh, the good thing about every creature having a different sound is that you can do as I do and sneak up on them. And uh, here around the corner, if it's 
a rat, if it's a skeleton, if it's an ogre, or if it's something else entirely. Ow. It was quite the fall. So, are we back with where it's split in, th in three, or are we back in a different location? Oh, that was not what I wanted to do. We are not... So that's where we came from, yeah? No, we actually cleared this place out. And we are, I believe we are on the other side, maybe? We go back to this, can heal yourself up. You cannot change weapons while attacking. That's fine, I'm not attacking. So that's where the skeleton was. Okay, okay. So we are back to where we were. That's good. I was wondering how we'd get back there. So now we should go and see what back in Smoke Hole Cave, I believe it was called. Smoke Hole Cave, yeah? Oh, you guys. You wouldn't happen to have silver arrows on you? No. Man, I feel bad about that. That is embarrassing. Alright. So we go up. And then... There might be a door at the end of that. So all the way up. No. I wanted to... Alrighty. So we're going up. Yeah. Up it is. Off to see the wizard, eh? Wait, what? Uh, is this the right way? Now, hold on a minute. Oh, yes, it is. Hang on. I don't hear anyone moaning, but I don't hear anyone creaking. I hear another sound. That's worrisome, because that means it's an enemy that I have not encountered yet, or that it's something else entirely. Alright. Open wood door. I expect a necromancer to pop out of here and be like, Hey! You're, you're seeing all my cops? Oh, it's a ghost. Well, shag bug burgers and sandwich. Uh, so back to the steel silver arrows. If I can get a clean, oh, you do not get to move. Do not, do not, do, do not. Damn it! Are there more in there? Would seem like it. Yeah. Oh, that's just a regular old zombie. Hello! So, uh, my silver arrow... Oh my god! I suppose I could have... hotbarred different types of arrow instead of... various kinds of spells. You won't give me anything back, no. Well... It was... The best I could do in the moment. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. Can I not search you? Alright. Any chesticles up here? Mm, any lootable items? Smoke hole brass tomb. So the other was boot tomb, and this is brass. I'm guessing the brass is higher class. Ugh. Okay, we need to this have this night vision dissipate first. This is awful to look at. <clears throat> Oakley -doakley. Right. See, ghost would be difficult to see in that kind of light. With that kind of fog. Skeletons, zombies, not too much, but they move fairly quickly. Okay. Okay, new map, new area, new map. Let's go to it. Aha! Well, that doesn't really tell me anything right now. So there's left, right, and a center. All of them seem shit. 
Well, doo doo cock a doo doo. Let's go for this one first then. Gold is always a viable act, a viable solution. Yeah. Not sure where that was what, what that voise were. Well a little cut enough. Ooh, I don't like that light. I don't like that light at all. That is Oh, it's just light from above. And there isn't even any ghost, even though it has the same color. Damn you hole! You tricked me. You clever dog. See? A burned out barrel. That's what happens when you put torches in a barrel. Everyone should learn from this. Huh. I don't see any undead. But I hear them. They are nearby. And they are hungry. Hmm. The good thing about me doing visual novels is that I've been doing a lot of voice work. That's both good and bad because a lot of voice work strains... Oh, that's a weird place to put it. Chest. Heavy chest. Smoke tomb in a key. Oh, that seems important. I see skeletons. A blue. And now they're dead. As should be. Get out of my head. And I think to myself... What the heck are you doing? Ah, oh, how do you dodge that? Hey, wankers! It's over here! Haha! Oh! Boom! Okay. Did they even hit me? I think they did. Yeah, I had a little sliver. My armor is pretty good. Despite it being a mixed bag of both light and heavy. What can you learn from that? Not necessarily anything. Alright, steel shield. Nope. Dwarven bow. Okay, I will have to edit that out. Not a problem. No need for people to show up in my videos if they don't want to be in my videos. I respect their privacy. And I'll have to edit that as well. Okay, is this one locked? No! And a free lockpick. Lord knows I need it. Is the chair is the coffin lootable here? No! Damn it! Oh what what's that? That was a hand. Yet said hand sounded like it was made of metal. Which is not the case. Cause said hand was made of bone. Bone sore is ready, except there was a hand. Ha! Oh, that was actually possible. All right. So, oh, I knew there were more arrows here. And I will have to take them all with me. All right, so we got the key to the inner tomb. Now, knowing, having a guess of these, the layout of these tombs, I reckon the inner tomb is down the path in the middle. Which means that we will go over to the right first and scour out any nasties that might be hiding there. Ah, I forgot this fog was unbearable in night vision. All right. Hmm. This does lead down though, but so did the left one. What is that? That's a rat. And now it's dead. Oh, it has friends. I didn't expect that. More rats? I'm just gonna... Oh, what the... Of course it had to be... Sp spooky, scary ghost. Uh, no. No. Silver arrows. Well. Whoop. Wow, really? Well, I will take it. Well, I guess my sneak is pretty high at the moment. I suppose I can't complain about that. Mm, not that I would. Okay, a sarcophagus. A sarcophagus. 
It's the cover there. And you Ah, oh, damn it, why is it average? Ah. Isn't there a lockpick dispenser that I could bash my head against? Or maybe... Uh, what is out here? Ah, um, oh, shit. A lot more. Alright. Okay, Mr. Chest. It's you and me, and I don't like you. That was it. Alright. There's a long way up to level 50. And unfortunately all it does is make sure that if you fail, two lock two tumblers stay down. Uh, the now where it's one. Okay. <laughs> Without breaking any. Eh, mega loot, but... I mean, the point of not breaking any lockpicks was... Pretty grand in its own, I'd say. Not gonna lie. Or maybe this is the pass to the to the uh, inner tomb. Or maybe it's not. Or maybe it's maybe Dean. I don't. I don't. Hmm. I am. Well, if it is, I'll just go back to the middle, clear that out, and then go back here. These Oblivion episodes are longer. Because there's a lot to do. Ugh. Hmm. From the sarcophagi, I believe that is the, multi the pluralist form of sarcophagus. The fact that they are made of stone here and not just... Oh, what other ghost? Wonderful. Just wonderful. Not. Are you going away? Have you heard about... Death, you seem to be missing in that regard. Uh, where was it? Oh yes, uh, the fact that there are stone sarcophagi rather than just wooden coffins would in could indicate that we are getting closer to the actual tomb. And this is just excess burial chambers. Oh, we got carved woods. We got carved stone even, not carved wood. We got a creaking and there's a skeleton up top. Not anymore. Ooh, quick fire. Heavy chest. Smoke tomb outer key. I should probably would come this way because I needed both keys then. It's a classic. Oh, a silver arrow. Did I actually get my silver arrow back for once? Sure as hell don't mind. Oh. Wait. Oh, wait. What is going on here? This is very hard. Swoop door outer key. Ah, and the inner key is there. Okay, well, that likely means that this is the way to go, which means that I should have waited with this one for later. Oh, uh, well, now we're here, so. Yep, definitely the way to go. Oh, what is that? Ah, so it's built below. Uh, I see a zombie. Whoop, hello. Oh, don't shamble away from me when I'm shooting you. Seriously, that is rude. Shabuji. Shit. Hava, hava, hava. Are you going to... Sh oh, you stop there. Okay, that's fine. Shabus. E. Gotcha! Hee! <laughs> Got he! Ah! Eh! Woo! Oh, this is most certainly the inner tomb. Hello! Ooh! A tough one! A oh, big axe! And now you're dead. Ha 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 ha! Mash. Okay, was it over here that I shot the zombie one? I think not. But I want to be sure. Anything back here? No. Not even wings of silver. Oh, the return of Knock Knock. 
the and the tales of old, tell of a Kishit so bold. Wait. Oh, that was a steel arrow. I was like, did I shoot that guy with the right type of arrow? And I was like, yeah. Hello. You clearly have an arrow in you. I want that back. I want to refund on arrows, goddammit. So, uh, axe guy. Yeah, the guy that died. I'm gonna ask you, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to have, ask, ask you a question and I'm gonna have to answer it immediately. I'll, ooh, this looks important. God damn it. Why do I not have the key for that? Oh, there's the axe. Dwarven battle axe. Eh, you can keep that. Oh, there you are. Hello. Skills a hero. Oh! Well, he died. Just like these guys. Looks like they were having a slumber party up here. Um, not my... Oh, what's that? Steel Claymore. Eh. Steel Claymore. No, I frankly don't want to steal that Claymore. Ah, <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we can get two for two on these. Nope, is the answer to that. All right, patience. Make them as a one, two. Okay. Ah! <laughs> one, two. Okay. That was it. Okay. So we have to find the. Ah. Ooh, fire greaves. Warhammer of dissolution. Cool. Too way too heavy though. These are not. That's only fire though. Eh, I can tell them. All right. Oh, another chest. Average. Why are these all average? Huh. I don't have that spell yet. Son of a. <clears throat> Are you? And stay there. Of course that one goes on the first. Huh. Yes. Okay, that one also goes on the first. One, two, and three. What? Oh. I hate sorcery chests. Even with my limited magic use, they are of no use to me. Well, I think... Ah, so the middle actually leads to nowhere. Or so it would seem, because we have not yet used the inner key for anything. Perhaps the inner key shall come in use. For that tiny chamber. Perhaps there is a deeper tomb to this. Perhaps the sky is green. Perhaps I'm rambling, and I don't know what I'm saying anymore. All of the, all of which are possible. I mean, what? 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 I saw. Oh, it's just a door. Who's there? <coughs> the door. Wee! Right. We shall go down the middle path, just as just as we promised. Just as we expected, and just as we had planned from the very beginning. And it don't look like it has a door, and it don't look like it's a whole big adventure. But, that don't mean we got, we got to take it easy. There could still be ghosties down here. Ghosties and rats. Old keepers of pestilence. And old should die. I'm no master of life and death. Well, death, maybe, but life? Eh, I ain't banging enough for that. <laughs> All right. Do we have a door or was the key that I, was the one key that I found absolutely redundant? Hello? Any spooky ghosties here? 
Hello? What? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. What is going on with my boys today? I don't know. Maybe I've had too much sugar. So, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's go back to the map. Nope, not that map. There are no doors. Uh, that structure looks strange. But there are no doors. There were no chests. So I picked up two keys where I only needed one. Son of a mother... Well, most sons are. That's kind of the point. Acrobatic skill increased. Huh. Would you look at that? Well, I don't think we'll have any more trouble. Dark elves are resistant to fire and also... Well, shite. So no necromancers, just undead and rats and a single mud crab. Well, that's... Kind of a disappointment, if I'm being honest here. Yeah. I was hoping to bash in some good old-fashioned necromancer skulls, but no can do. Oh well, we got a level up. We broke a lot of luck, picked a lot, 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 that's hard to say. A lot of luck picks. Mysticism magic has spells that take living and undead creatures through wars. Well, we can go to the camp and raise our skills. There's also a settlement close by. They might have an inn, which would probably be better in this weather. Better in this weather. Ah! My tongue is like it. Okay. Mm, might not want to have the. Uh... All right. So, what is this place? And is it a place where I can sleep? Queen Farm. This looks pretty empty, but that's not to say that it is. Perhaps I can find a bed. The door is locked and no one seems to be home. Or not, or not. Well, mm. then I shall head to the camp. I can always borrow a bed there. And we are still within the hour mark, which is the usual length for good old Oblivion episodes, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're usually actually a bit above one hour, but well, let's, I'll try and keep this below, or at least around one hour. <clears throat> not that it matters m m a lot. Um, oh, damn it, she's using that. Right, fine, I'll just go back to the road and sulk in the lack of bed to borrow or steal. See, if there had been necromancers, they would also have been needing a bed. And had they been needing a bed, I could have mm, uh, taken care of the owner of said bed and slept. I don't mind sleeping in a dead man's bed. Especially not when dead man make, makes, de makes more dead men rise. I don't know what that means. I'm rambling. <laughs> Ooh, there are trees. Oh, and again to oblivion. How wonderful. Yeah, that actually might be fine to... Uh, oh, yes, that's right. I can... S I believe I can sleep up at the camp near Kavach. We're not too far away from it, if I'm not mistaken. What? That's the wrong way. Oh, yeah, that's fairly close by. Uh, we are after the bin, so yes. So let's go this way. That's a dead puma. Or a mountain lion, if you want. Head to Kavach, or what's left of it. There's a Bellator's Folly. I saw you there, mountain lion. Oh, it's just a wolf. Timber wolf, but a wolf on the list.
So that's the camp up there. That should be excellent for finding a place to sleep. Yes. Cameron usurped for Burn Kavach too. Kavach was rebuilt from ruins months before. And she'll what? How long would you like to rest? Well, it's two thirty-three a.m. So let's say five hours. And let's see what the morning brings. You have ascended to level 12. You can't believe how easy it is. You just have to go a little crazy. And then suddenly it may all make sense and everything you do turns to gold. Ha! Huh. Sounds nice. Alright. Uh, so we get bonuses to intelligence and to personality, which I think I'll take. That's kind of nice. Strength, that's also a good one because that means how much we can carry. Uh, speed could be useful because, well, light armor is in our major group of skills, I believe. Endurance. Uh, yeah, let's actually go for a more magic based uh, one. Right. So, in the next episode, I will meet you back at the. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I will meet you back at the cave here. Then, we shall take the Imperial Fort that was somewhat around here, I think. Or maybe we should just take the, uh, the gate to Oblivion. But anyway, that is for next time, and until then, take care.